Hi, it's Rich Tarani here in the TMC newsroom, and I'm with uh, Mike Lillian, who is the uh, chairman and president of the NGN Forum and the IMS Forum. Mike, how are you? Thank you, and it's uh, great to see you here. It's great to see you too. And uh, I wanted to touch base with you and, and hear a little bit about what's happening, what's new. Well, first of all, uh, in a partnership with, the, uh, with your group at TMC, uh, we have the NGN magazine that it used to be an IMS magazine. So now, uh, with also initiative of the form, NGN form and IMS form merger, uh, we have a broader uh, spectrum of the, these converged communications to cover. And we uh, normally put in the heads up on all of our activities and the form uh, in this magazine. So I uh, encouraging the, the audience to uh, uh, get hold of the magazine or register at your site or our site. Uh, we would send them a soft copy for what is coming up in the industry as well as the, the events of the forum. Uh, and uh, as uh, in these issues, uh, we talk about the announcement of the Plug for 7 that is going to be concentrating uh, on the specific topic of diameter. And diameter is the signaling protocol uh, that works with the SIP uh, for the billing and the CDR and charging and OSS side of the NGM product and services. Uh, in addition, uh, in uh, two weeks we are uh, announcing the uh, BSS, OSS, and a security technical working group with some of the leaders in the industry as the chair and a vice chair. Uh, so you're very busy. You're very so busy. We are we are very busy from the form and the industry diameter wow. working group is being launched on the NGN form, and now in a parallel with the IMS architecture, we also looking at the pre-IMS architecture and an IP convergence and application and services, which is we kind of. Uh, inherited from the NGN4. So uh, we are basically looking at the, the whole convergence and ultimately uh, IMS uh, architecture for service delivery. That's great. So uh, what are your thoughts on just the various uh, segments of the market in terms of competition? The, the traditional ILEX versus the cable companies. Like, what, are, what are some of the things happening in those disparate markets? Interestingly, with the converge uh, of the circuit switching and the TDM to the IP uh, product and networking, uh, and with the change of the regulatory or loosening of the regulatory for the mergers and acquisition of the service provider, uh, the consumers, more and more, they have the uh, ability to go one-stop shop to get their uh, telephone, their internet, their wireless, and now with IPTV, their TV services from one place. So the traditional triple play and quadruple play, per se, is changing because one service provider can offer it. Now, the architecture that these service providers, uh, they have to implement in their network is that these uh, network of the wireless wireline or a cable or broadband they all have to work together it's right. a mesh network right and that's the really the one phase of the ngn now the ultimately you should be able to call one phone number on service provider and right away they see all of your information they can provision and you update your bill with the information for all of your services that module is the hss which is in the control plane of ims so IMS architecture, which is traditionally was locked for the really a green field, not the different module of it is getting implemented in existing network. So that's what we are talking about that, you know, NGN4 right. and IMS4 not looking at pre-IMS architecture, post-IMS architecture, and also the IP convergence from traditional sure. TDM site. So if I'm, a, if I'm a company listening to this or watching this and I'm, I'm wondering, uh, why should I get involved with, with the NGN Forum, the IMS Forum? What are some of the reasons that they should call you or contact you? One of our main initiatives uh, that uh, we are uh, continuously updating in the NGN Magazine is our interoperability and the certification of the components, network, and applications. And with the more and more of the, uh, the consumer's information, operational issues, now we add OSS, BSS, and security to it. So we bring in a, the leader of the industry from vendor side. We also have a, our service provider 
uh, advisory group that we're going to be continuously enhancing it with a different service provider from cable, wireless, as well as the wireline. And we're putting the output of the issues that they have in hand into the technical working group. That's great. And we're working also with the standard group for the what needs to be updated. Okay. From the OSS side to the wireless side with 3GPP, ITU, Etsy, and others, and even the cable labs. Okay, so if somebody wants more information on the magazine, they could just go to ngnmag.com or tmcnet.com, and someone wants more information yeah. on the forum. For, uh, imsforum.org and ngnforum.org, and we are looking forward to uh, get the uh, both service provider, vendors, and application developer involved. The forum now together, we have uh, over 2,500 members. It's a and, good number. And wow. the, the numbers are increasing. We have uh, both voting and non-voting members. Great. Great. And looking forward to continue enhancing our partnership with the TMC. Fantastic. Thanks, Mike. It's been great. Thank we've you. Been, we've been talking Thank with you. Mike Kalilian, and uh, this is Rich Tarani in the TMC Net newsroom here. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.